The next one up here are the halogens, chlorine, fluorine. They are happy at 7. So we usually we will put chlorine, or I can do fluorine or bromine or iodine, anything that's group 7. Um, it's going to have 7 outer or valence electrons. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Right? So uh, this one electron is ready to form a bond with anything. I'll just call that anything R. It really doesn't matter. And chlorine, bromine, fluorine, and any of the halogens will generally have three lone pairs. Technically, halogens are usually the outer atoms, but in some cases, they could also be the central atom. Let's replace this R group with a hydrogen, and we will have hydrochloric acid, Okay, one of the structures. The halogens are very electronegative, so they pull. If I were to draw a little tail here, and then draw an arrow, leaving a little bit of an overhang, um, what happens is that most of the halogens have great electron pulling power. The term is electronegativity. So um, even though this is a single bond between the hydrogen and the Cl, it's not a 50-50 sharing. What essentially happens is that most of the electron density gets pulled towards the chlorine side. And that is what um, hydrochloric acid is, or basically anything with a halogen, because they are so electronegative, they pull. In that manner, what happens is that one part of the molecule, I'm going to use that symbol, it's called delta. One part of the molecule, this end, has a partial negative charge, and the hydrogen end of the molecule has a partial positive charge. A molecule that has one end positive and the other end negative, uh, remember this is partial, it's not a full positive charge, it's not a full negative charge, it doesn't have that power, but it's a partial negative charge and a partial positive charge within the end of the molecule. Such a molecule is called polar, and a lot of times most halogen containing molecules are polar. Now, if there's some sort of internal symmetry within the molecule, uh, then it becomes nonpolar. As an example, we'll look at CCL4. All right, so CCL4 is the covalent structure here. Just briefly, carbon is happy at 4. Chlorine, as all the halogens, are happy at 7. Uh, but we have four chlorines there, so that gives us 28. So we have to put in uh, 32 valence electrons around the CCL4 molecule. And the way we do that is, well, we have carbon-loving 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then the rest uh, will fill with outer electrons on the substituents. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 31, 32. So I got my 32 valence electrons there. Uh, we can do our formal charge and octet rule. Uh, let's just do the formal charge for this chlorine here. All right. Realizing it's the same as this chlorine, this chlorine, and this chlorine because the molecule has symmetry. Okay, we rotate it around, move it around. It's going to be the same uh, same environment for each of these chlorines. So doing one is the same as doing it for all. All right, let's do the formal charge, which is most important. So formal charge, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Halogens, such as chlorine, happy at 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. Right. Octet rule for the chlorine, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 7, 8. So the octet rule for the chlorine... Uh, is 8, which is fine. Remember, there's a lot of exceptions to the rule. Remember, we saw previously that hydrogen has an octet of 2. Um, but now this polar uh, versus nonpolar situation for the molecule. Um, you see halogens are going to pull, uh, but this chlorine is going to pull this way, giving it a partial negative charge. It's counterbalanced by the chlorine pulling it the other way. Same thing with the top chlorine. It's pulling its own way. It has a partial negative charge. But this chlorine at the bottom is pulling down with its own equal weight, with its own negative, partial negative charge. That delta means partial. So this vector cancels out with that vector. This vector here cancels out with that vector there. And um, 
even though we have uh, a bunch of electronegative halogens, they all cancel each other out and you have a nonpolar molecule. So electronegative elements are with the halogens. The halogens love seven. They love seven. They're going to have um, three lone pairs. You can substitute a bromine. You can substitute an iodine. You can substitute a fluorine here. It's the same situation.